So let's assume you have a client who wants you to create a poster to promote an online event. Don't stress. In this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be teaching the step-by-step -step process on how you can create an eye catchy poster you can use to promote this event effectively. So let's get started. So hey everyone, Benjamin here, a verified Canva expert based in Ghana. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to create this poster you see on my screen. And if this is your first time on this channel, look, subscribing to this channel is the best thing you can do. And if you're an OG, massive respect to you. I honestly appreciate your support. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into it and let's get started. So the first thing I would want us to do is to come to coolers.com and just to find any color palette. So I'll just explore some trendy, you know, color palette and we'll just choose any of them. So I think this one can do or we can also go with this. So I'll just come here and i will just export the palette so i'll just choose image and it should just help me download so i just choose the title 0002 i think this should be fine and i'll export it beautifully so you can see we have it downloaded here so i'll just drag and drop it inside of canva and here we are so this is what we are actually going to create and all i'll do is to tap on the add page and we have a blank canvas at the moment so i just hope you also have your color palette ready if not just pause this video and make sure you just find any color palette you want to use and if your client has already given you some colors i think you can just use that okay all right so the first thing i'm going to do is to press r on my keyboard since we are going to be working with a lot of ships and you can just be creative you know i just want to teach you what you can do but just be creative in all other things okay so we'll just put this over here and i can duplicate this and position it somewhere here and resize this shape to something cool like that and you can see from here where we have the event name has the largest box okay and that's what we have to keep in mind so i'll just maybe trim this like this and move it to the top a little bit okay so something like this should be cool then we just duplicate and bring it over here and i'm just going to add my color palette over here so that we can be changing the colors as we arrange the shapes okay so another one over here so we have three but i think making it four would be the best so i'll reduce it okay and add another box over here just to make it four then i select everything and increase the size then i position this over here and let's change the colors so you can see canva has been able to generate the colors for us but if you also want to use the color palette <laughs> but if but let's say you wanted to use the color picker you can also use that but for some time now i think canva has been bugging a lot because the color picker hasn't been working well with the canva app but if you are using the browser it should work perfectly over there okay so yeah okay so i'll just use the colors canva has generated for us you know since it's all coming from here so choose the first box you know come into colors and then you can just choose any color at all the second one can take you know the second color and you can just use random colors you know from this okay it doesn't have to match whatever it's here you can just mix them up okay then with this i think i'll make it you know this one you know should be cool then we just select any two of these shapes okay duplicate it and i'll position it here like this okay then i can also duplicate and also bring it here right and i can change the color of this to maybe red i think okay and this will take that so this is something cool we are doing okay so i think now that we have all of the colors representing i can just take the color palette off all right now we just have to be creative so i will duplicate this position it over here and trim it like that then i can duplicate it again and bring it and bring it down here okay then i can also change the color to any color at all so we can use so we can use this color okay then i select all of this duplicated bring it down over here and we just would have to switch the colors okay so switch and would also switch these colors as well okay okay so now you can see we are making a lot of progress so what i'm going to do is i'm going to speed up the process a little bit so that we can be able to you know have this video shot okay select this oh pull it down and pull this down right and if you've made it to this part of this video all i just want to say is if you are using the free version of canva i think it's time for you to actually upgrade to canva pro so i have a link in the description box below that will help you use canva pro for free so so just check it out and you should enjoy using canva pro for free so let's resume and um let's just wrap up with the other things we have to add on our poster okay so 
now i think we are basically you know halfway through so i will just press t on my keyboard to add some text and i will just position this over here and we can just also choose any text at all we want so let's say i would want to use uh poppins okay so i'll just search for poppins because i just love poppins it's one of the coolest fonts in my opinion on canva okay <clears throat> so i would make it bigger because you can see the font size is not enough at the moment right so trim this and make it bigger and we can just put a sample event name over here so so we'll just see how to make one million subscribers and we'll just trim it and we'll now have to make our text look pretty so i would first of all reduce the line spacing and i also align it to the left okay then i would make sure one million okay it's on the same page and yeah but i think the word subscribers is too long so i can just say you know users you know just since this is a sample title it doesn't really have to be so strict okay so yeah so i would make it big like this and i can also color some of the words over here just to add some design principle over here and um, with the time and date we can add that also over here so i can just say maybe 24th you know um october okay then i just reduce the size and position somewhere here right so depending on how you want it you can have it like this or you can just have it long form like that but i think for the sake of this situation so yeah, this form is the best okay so so now that we have it like this i think the best thing to do is to trim this box over here and bring this one also close okay then we can just duplicate this and position this over here and the time we can just say um 2 p.m okay the 2 p.m gmt right then let's assume this is going to be an international so let's assume we have an international audience one of the things we can do is we can put the various time zones in here so i will just come into element and in element i'll search for maybe ghana okay and you should see some nice options over here so i'll choose this okay because because with this we can easily customize it okay so we can do that so i'll come to see all just to get the other flags and um with this we can just right click and come to view more by whoever the creator is okay and we should get more options in there so i can put maybe we have some audience in france we can also do that you know we can also add the flag over here reduce the size and come to see our oh, magic recommendation so we see that we have a lot of the flags in here but make sure you're choosing the flags of you know that have a similar style so we choose this one as well come down here and reduce the size to something like this and maybe let's say we have some from japan so we just put this here and also reduce the size to something like this all right then duplicate your text come to color choose one of the colors that would make your text you know visible on this color we have over here all right then position it over here since it's Ghana time the same as gmt we'll leave this as gmt okay then i'll duplicate this position it over here right and duplicate and also i think this should come in more so this should come in okay so 55 55 this should also come in and this should also come in okay then we duplicate this and position it somewhere here okay so that they are all aligned beautifully i think the japan flag wouldn't be the best because it's very difficult to look at it so i would rather add the ukraine flag over here okay and i would reduce the size as well position it here okay so reduce it and you can see what we have at the moment so i also bring this in here tag this in and you know we have something cute over here even with the white boxes it still blends with our design because you know it's it's matching so i think it's even cool so what i'll need you to do is with the time you have to customize it to the appropriate time for these countries you have entered in there and if it's according to time zones you just have to you know customize the time according to that okay so but i'll leave it for the sake of this tutorial and since we are saying road to 1 million users you can see over here we use a lady you know so depending on the event you can use a lady or you can use any element that would suit um the poster so since it's road to 1 million users i can just come to element and i can just say road okay and i would get you know a lot of options actually from element so i can choose this which i think is very cool okay and we have so many options in there but let's see if this would you know be cool all right so we can see 
this already looks beautiful looking at what we have over here and um, yeah i think i love this one so we'll keep this one here or if there are any other options that would work well with the design we can just replace it okay but i think the initial one we have over here is the best okay then what we can do next is we can just add the other stuff over here so i'll just copy all of these okay and paste it in here and it's basically text with you know um other ways on how to register for the event okay so i'll reduce the logo over here then i would also make sure that my text is visible so one way we can do that is to come okay just let both text okay come into effect and we should see background to so add a background and with the roundness we can increase the roundness of it to have it like um, a pale and we can also change the color which i'll make it yellow okay so that this is very easy to see then we would align my text to the left and also align this to the left so that's easy to align my text so i'll position both of them here and as you can see we have our text and the font size should be the same this is 12 and this is 14 so we would also make this 14 okay 14.9 and yes this is what we just had to keep inside of canva a very simple but effective poster we can use to promote any online event at all and i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you did make sure to hit on the like button and if you still haven't subscribed look i don't know what you're waiting for hitting the subscribe button is the best thing you should do and yes the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next tutorial Hi, i'm taking it three to that is nice because i haven't designed in a long time I haven't made I've just been doing things for people. <laughs> you you don't you which guy is that? Are you mad? I know you could do it. All you gotta do is put your mind to it. Wake up, I'm on to the next. New day, I gotta do my best. Uh every day I put the work in, the grind never stop, you ain't never see me rest. See me on top, I never